address it from the point of view of what this organization stands to do for the country. You look at the security situation in the country at present, a call for urgent attention. Problems are everywhere, and the country is in dire need of additional security agency to support the existing ones in a bid to take care of the security situation in the country. National Unity and Peace Corps, which is sponsored under SB 375, is well endowed. We are all chartered mediators. We are intellectually empowered to handle this situation, and we have a blueprint for that. We are asking the Senate to pass this bill because we know that the problem Nigeria is facing today is because there is no room for dialogue between the warring parties. And National Unity and Peace Corps has created an avenue. We are registered. We know how to resolve the crisis between headers and farmers. We know how to resolve the crisis between the bandits and even the captors. We know how to interfere where there is crisis. So we are feeling that if we allow us to go in, this problem we are experiencing every day will be a thing of the past in our dear country. We are also looking at the fact that if this committee will permit, sir, we are suggesting that for us to carry out this function effectively, that we are suggesting that this new agency that you will create be domiciled with the Federal Minister of Interior because they are saddled with responsibility to handle this. We are also suggesting if the committee will take it, sir, and I feel that it is the right thing to do, that the name of the new the agency, the Commandant General, that will handle this organization should be addressed as Commandant General, not National Commandant or National Commander, but Commandant General, so that it will follow the same trajectory with other existing government agencies. Number three is that we are suggesting as well that in a bid to carry out our function very effectively in order to restore normalcy in the country, we are also asking that the three agencies that have appeared here be collapsed and it should be formed under a new name that will now take care of the three organizations. We are all Nigerians and we know that Nigeria is big for everybody. Then the fourth one, sir, is that this bill seeks to create further employment for Nigerian youths. We also believe that if Nigerian youths are gainfully employed, this youth restiveness and all these crises we are having today will reduce. After all, is it not when somebody has something doing that he will remove his mind from crisis? I also wish to address uh, the, the, uh, the permanent secretary with due respect, sir, and the CG Civil Defense with due respect. You made mention of the fact that the function that these new agencies are about to carry on is already being handled by existing agencies. Let me also remind you that when the civil defense and the road safety and other paramilitary agencies were created, the functions that they are using today was carved out of that of Nigerian police force. The reason for carving it out from Nigerian police force is because we know that Nigerian police force is already overwhelmed and overstretched. Therefore, in order to bring another agency on board that will assist in carrying out those functions, that was why these new agencies were created. And today, everybody can be just to see that the civil defense is doing well, the road safety is doing well. The same way, if you create these new organizations, we will end up also doing what? Well. So I am agitating. I'm telling you that, of course, one of the reasons, again, that will make you establish this organization is that our operations are community-based. Go to our various communities today. You will find no police station in the community. But my organization intends to establish a mediation center in all those communities so that when there is crisis within the community, we are, before it erupts into a national crisis, we will resolve it at that point and then make sure that there is no problem that will affect even the local government, the state, and the federation. Therefore, if we look at it from that perspective, while the hunters are in the bush sourcing for criminals, we will be by the side of the bush helping them, and when they be, we resolve the crisis. And when we resolve the crisis, the Peace Corps of Nigeria will also be there to provide security. 
So we all have something we'll offer. Let all of us come on board and then establish the stages. I, I rest my case and I thank you very much. May God bless all of you. Yes. National Unity and Peace Corps appeared in this assembly in the 6th, 7th, 8th, and currently 9th assembly. In the 6th assembly, it was uh, sponsored by Senator Okechi, distinguished Senator Okechi Mubu. He didn't see the light of the day. At the 7th Senate, it was sponsored by Professor Ben Ayede, a distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yet, the bill did not see the light of the day. At the 8th Assembly, it was sponsored by distinguished senator Bintama Sigarba. It was at that point that this bill scaled through second, third reading and went through concurrence. In the wisdom of the then committee of the, on, the, on the interior of that Senate, that Eighth Assembly Senate, headed by distinguished Senator Sekibo Thompson George. At that point, in the wisdom of that committee, they collapsed the National Unity and Peace Corps Bill, which is SB 183, and the Peace Corps of Nigeria Bill, which is SB 173. It is on record that these bills were handled, and the, this same function that we're having here today, which is the public hearing, held here in this new building of the Senate on the 20th of April, 2016. And I defended my own organization. So it would be wrong for anybody to adduce or speculate or say that this organization was not part of that bill. We were part of the bill, and the name Nigerian Peace Corps is owned by both Peace Corps of Nigeria and National Unity and Peace Corps. The records are there. You can't create a bill and gazette it as SB 183. And in fact, that bill belonging to National Unity and Peace Corps was the one that the then Senate President signed on after the second reading. The records are there, you can check. I have it here too. And I will submit it to the Secretary. I mean, no, for the, yes, the media are working. Yes, sir. The approach of both of you is almost selling DPGs. Yes, Believe sir. me, the media will capture it from the essence of the you know, war of words between you and Professor Dixon. And this thing may not overwhelm for your cause. So address the reason. Tell us the reason why you should be approved. Yes, yes, I did. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Bishop.